Hey, what's up, you guys? Uh, it's MJ Ben, and I am happy to welcome you to the very first episode of the Black Sheep Podcast. <coughs> Excuse me. And basically what I'm going to talk about for this episode is basically what's been going on for the last year, um, why I once again disappeared, um, and I did disappear for a while. Um, I just needed a break. Um, and for those who follow me on my social media and, well, know me, I got divorced. Um, I'm not gonna obviously go into every single full detail of what happened, but just for the majority of those who don't know, but those who do know, Basically, last year in June, my ex-wife basically took my kids and left me for somebody else. (laughs) That's as far as I'm going to go with, quote, the details. Um, But I didn't officially file until October of last year. So, and we weren't officially divorced until January of this year. Um, and it, it's just, it's still challenging. I mean, it's just been a very long hell of a fight and I don't really want to say it. It's a fight because at the end of the day, the only things that really matter are the kids um, I mean, it's it's definitely been difficult for them to basically come to terms, you know, mom and dad are not together anymore. Mom and dad live separately. Um, you know, they live in, well, you know, the kids, they, they live in two different places. And, you know, on certain days they stay with mom and other days they stay with dad. But like with the way that my work schedule is, it actually works out pretty great, you know, with the whole 50-50 custody thing. Um, you know, not really been an issue. Um, and with holidays, you know, not really been a problem. Uh, like last year, um, Christmas Eve, they stayed with their mom. Christmas Day, they stayed with me. And then the next day after Christmas, they went to their mom's and had Christmas with her family. And then they came back to me the next day. And, you know, it works out great. Um, I think the kids stayed with their mom on New Year's Eve and New Year's Day or whatever. But, you know, the way that my work schedule is, it just works out great to where both um, me and their mom have an equal visitations and whatever with the kids um now with the now like with my son you know with him being autistic he's still still trying to get the concept that mom and dad live in two separate places um and you know with him having a speech impediment a little bit he can't really express how he really feels about, you know, the whole situation and just what's been happening uh, with his life within the last year. And, you know, it's completely understandable. I mean, it sucks that he can't express to me or his mom or any of his grandparents or anybody else of how he really feels. And, you know, it's it's sad, but we are trying to do the best we can to help him tell us verbally of how he feels about the situation. and you know, and his sister, nay, she, she kind of gets the concept of what's going on, but not really. I mean, she's only four years old, but she's trying to step in and kind of be a mother figure, which it's pretty hilarious, but it's in a good way. Um, But, you know, Basically, at the end of the day, as long as they are happy and, you know, healthy and 
not having any neg negative fatigue, sorry, I can't talk, you know, at them, then that's all that matters is their happiness, and that's all that really should matter. Um, but I just needed to come on here and talk about it for a minute. <laughs> I've been meaning to do a video about it, I just, but for some reason, you know, I couldn't point the camera at me and do the whole editing, trying to explain certain things, and I don't know, it's just, it's been not a very good ride, but it's been a pretty screwed up ride. Um, it's, I don't want to say certain words that make people think like, you know, something bigger is going on because there's really nothing bigger going on. It's just, I mean, yes, when uh, their mom left me, she basically left me with nothing. I was behind on rent. I was behind on electricity bill. Um, it was just, it was hard, but I had people out there helping me. And I mean, if you know me, Personally, I don't like asking for help because it makes me feel bad. I don't know. I'm just one of those people that it makes me feel bad because I feel like I have to owe you back and I can't. But, you know, it is good to have people out there looking out for you and willing to reach their hand out for you and help you in any way they can. And, you know, I just... I really do appreciate it too. To um, so you know, shout out to everybody that's helped me and had my back throughout the last year. Um, you know, especially helping me f partially financially. Um, you know, I'm not trying to have a whole pity party about all that crap, and I'm not asking for help. Um, I'm trying to do the best I can. For my kids, you know, I've sacrificed a lot for those two rugrats, and I will continue to sacrifice so much for them until my last dying breath. Um, so, yeah, that's that's pretty much what's been happening the last year, or at least the start of what happened towards <coughs> last year. Um, <coughs> you know, there's different challenges every day. Um, but just as long as my kids are happy and healthy, that's all that matters to me. Um, and I hope they know that their dad is trying his very best to do everything he can to make dreams and et cetera, so forth happen. Um, you know, put on a happy face for them. Uh, do what they love watching daddy do, um, you know. Um, last year in November, um, me, my, uh, me, my dad, and Colton went to uh, SmackDown for the very first time last year. Um, I mean, we, me and Colton and Naomi watch it, but we never actually went to an event until last year in November when they came to Indianapolis, and it was really, it was a memorable moment um, because you know. Um, I don't know. I can't really put it into words, but it was just, it was an amazing experience. Um, we saw, you know, the Usos, we saw, um, we saw Bray Wyatt, uh, uh, RIP to Bray Wyatt. Um, yeah, we didn't see him out in the ring, but we saw him backstage on the big screen. Um, so that was pretty cool. I love you know, going on YouTube or certain pages that share the video of when him and LA Nice started their feud, and I can literally sit there and go, you know, I was there when they when they filmed that. I was there when that was recorded, and you know, um, we uh, we stayed long enough for the Bloodline to come out. And definitely stayed long enough for uh, Paul Heyman to say, now, Indianapolis, that's not very oozy of you. Um, we left early because um, the fireworks to Roman's entrance scared Colton with him being autistic. You know, big sounds tend to scare him, but it's all right. We stayed long enough 
for him to come out and say Indianapolis acknowledged me and you know Colton pointed his finger up and acknowledged Roman and was like okay we gotta go we can go now and I'm like okay we can go but that's one of the stuff or like one of the goals I'm trying to do with my kids is take them to certain events do certain things that you know they have interest in and that we all that all three of us have interest in and just make it as memorable as possible and you know that was definitely a experience and a memory that I will always cherish with uh with Colton is that him and I went to WWE Friday Night Smackdown in Indianapolis and we got to see a bunch of our favorite wrestlers of this generation you know we even had a sign made for Colton that says um Roman Reigns the shepherds acknowledge you and you know it was just incredible it was really awesome and you know just being able to be a part of that universe fan base wise is really amazing you know and it's something that when Colton gets older, we can always look back on and be like, yeah, we were there. Um, unfortunately, I wasn't able to save up for us to go to Fastlane. But um, my uh, friend Liv, she's going to it. And I hope she love. I hope she has a wonderful time there. Um, I know she's going to be bragging about it. And I'm just going to be like, hey. I still went to SmackDown last year, so that's all that matters, and I got to see Roman Reigns, and you didn't, but it's, um, (coughs) it's all good, it's all good, it's all, it's all good, just here making memories, that's that's all it is, um, let me see, uh, what else we got to talk about, or I'm going to talk about, uh, projects, I've been doing a lot of announcements of (laughs) <laughs> lip sync projects i know i've been slacking this year even though i said this was going to be the year a lot of lip sync projects were going to be done um just again just with the whole struggling with trying to balance work and spend time with my kids um it's really rare for me to get projects done i just do a lot of announcements and i guess do tiktoks because that's all i can do for the time being but um yeah, I do have a lot of projects lined up or planned to do um, uh, for the one trailer that I posted on New Year's Day, I think it was. It was a lip sync project. Another one that I was going to do with uh, my dear darling friend Jessica and her uh, boyfriend Devin. Um, and it's themed wise of course because i i you know for me being me being a big you know actor fanatic and horror fanatic i love to have my projects themed wise or based off of you know stuff that i love you know or that everybody else loves (laughs) and of course the theme of that lip sync project is fear and lothan in las vegas (laughs) Sorry. Um, and, you know, me being a big Johnny Depp fan, I, of course, wanted to play um, his character in that movie while lip syncing to The Weeknd because I'm a big Weeknd fan. Because, you know, let's just all admit it, he's the Michael Jackson of this generation and he is just amazing. I love his music. I love his songs. And, you know, I always say to myself when I listen to certain songs that he's released within the last couple of years, it's like, where was this in high school? Because, you know, a lot of his songs remind me of, like, you know, of course, stupid teen relationships uh, with, uh, you know, during certain times. And it's like, well, you know, it is what it is. But... But I just, I love his music. I love how it like drives you and it has good rhythm. It has good beats and it has fantastic lyrics and The Weeknd just kills it. I mean, I've gotten a lot of my friends into listening to Weeknd. They're just looking at me like, 
I hate you. And it's like, oh, you just hate me because I'm right. You know, don't don't be hating because I'm right. Um, but yeah, that's that's I just I love doing uh these lip sync videos and I love having certain themes to it. Like when um when I did the sacrifice uh lip sync film with uh Jessica last year, it was just um I don't know, it just the whole theme was something that I created in high school and for those that already know that watched me and Jessica's live last year, which we're hoping to do another one uh, towards the end of the year this year, and hopefully uh, Devin will be a part of that live too. Um, the black sheep idea came from an idea I had in high school, which was like my conscience was called the black sheep. And basically the whole story behind it was that uh, me, I had like had enough of listening to my conscience because I felt like he was giving me the wrong answers and the wrong ideas of how to handle certain stuff. So I just, I locked him away in the back of my mind and then he just escaped and yada, yada, yada. And Jessica's character was like basically the person that sends the black sheep consciences to certain people. That's why I always say she's the create the no not the creator the mother of the black sheeps and again as it was mentioned on the live jessica and i and still to this day have not met in person and when we did that film we uh, filmed on different locations. I filmed in my room in my apartment. And she filmed at her house. And then, she, and then she would just send me the clips. And then I would just take them. And I would edit them together to look like we were on the same set. And, you know, it's just... It, it's really crazy also because Jessica and I are, like, state-wise close. Like... <laughs> um, I'm um, obviously not going to say our addresses, but she's literally just like a four-hour drive from where I live. Uh, her and I are planning here soon to uh, meet up and actually film some stuff together. Um, hopefully, maybe in the next month, I'll finally go up there and meet her. It just depends on her schedule and mine. Um, but, you know, she is... One of the top people, if I take a moment here to shout out to her, because, you know, of course, her and I were just, we were just the first two horror fanatics that followed each other on TikTok, and then we just became best friends, and she has had my back throughout everything that I've gone through here recently, and I've had her back throughout everything she's gone through, and, um, you know, she is just an incredible human being. Um, you know, she has her story. You know, everybody has a story. They all have, everybody has their own struggles in life. And just from knowing her throughout, well, it, I guess you could say for the last two and a half years that uh, her and I have talked and gotten to know each other, you know, it just, I absolutely love her and I adore her and, you know, with the accomplishments that she's done, I am very, very super proud of her and, you know, she's just, she's again incredible and, you know, um, I've talked with her, to her boyfriend, Devin, and he sounds like a very terrific guy, which shout out to you too, Devin. Um, you know, I can't wait to meet you and Jessica, hopefully at the same time, because, you know, this next lip sync project that I want to do with other people involves both of you. And, you know, he seems to, from what I've seen, he's had a lot of accomplishments, and, you know, I am super proud of him as well, and I wish him still the best of luck in what the future holds for him. And, you know, I'm just happy that he is an additional to this just this black sheep family because you know black sheeps we gotta stick together 
So that's the idea, or that's the general of what's, you know, going to happen here soon. Um, hopefully next month I can drive down or drive up there and meet both of my new friends. Well, my best friend and my new friend. Well, my best friend and her boyfriend. That's what I, yeah. Um, <laughs> and just, you know, for us to work and do what we do and share it with everybody that enjoys stuff like this. Um, and yeah. And then the last thing I want to talk about um, is um, I've been thinking of taking acting classes or maybe even going to school to be a, to be a better actor because I'll be quite honest, main reasons why I do lip sync videos is because I don't have to hear myself and I hate hearing myself. Like I hate watching myself and then hearing my hearing me talk. It just makes me cringe. And you know, I know it probably makes people cringe too because but they just say, "Oh, it's good" cuz they're just saying it to be nice and it's like, "Okay. You don't have to be nice, but whatever." <laughs> you know. Um Sorry. Um, but I really just want to, you know, for a guy that has loved acting since I was three years old, you know, I would think better of myself, but that's just me. So I'm thinking of looking into taking acting classes or even going to school to become a better actor, hopefully. And you know, I do enjoy directing a lot. I love being behind the camera and not really bossing people around, but, you know, directing people. It's just, it's something I picked up towards the end of my high school career was being in the director's seat for once and being like, oh, okay, so let's do this and that. So, yeah, that's pretty much the idea of what I hope to happen here soon and um, again uh, when I hopefully get the confidence again I will hopefully do the next episode if not then future episodes where there's a camera so I'll probably have a camera when I have a, a guest on the show but um, yeah until then uh, thank you guys for listening I hope I didn't bore you to death and whatever I'm trying to get better at this. Um, that's probably another thing I need to work on is the confidence. I don't really have a lot of confidence in myself. And that's probably the main reason, you know, why I do certain things that I do. Like, again, with the lip syncs, I don't like hearing myself talk or, you know, watching myself and then hear my voice come out because it, it makes me cringe. <laughs> but, um, yeah. Hopefully that's something I can work on as well. But um, thank you guys for uh, listen, or listening in, I might as well say. Thank you guys for listening in. Um, and as always, stay spooky, my friends, or my little Robin Redbreasts. And we'll see you soon.